Hello and welcome back to English for You. I'm Seb. I'm Nikki. And we are talking about Jewel Parker Rhodes's great book, Ghost Boys. So we looked at it a little bit yesterday. It's got a very sad and powerful story、mm. about the death of two young black boys、um, for things for for doing nothing wrong. Basically, they're murdered for no reason. And、uh, we're going to be talking a lot about the themes.、Um, So, but before we get into that, let's talk about、uh, one very important term, which is very, very central, very important in this book.、Um, Nikki, do you want to introduce it? It's racism.、Mm-hmm. Racism, right? It means that you like you are not friendly towards someone that's not your the、uh, the same race as you are.、Mm-hmm, exactly. It's the belief that because someone looks different, or they're from a certain cultural group, or Um, they're different in some way that they are better or worse than you. So racism is very、um, central to this story. As you've noticed,、um, Jerome and Emmett are both black boys, and though we haven't said specifically, the police officer in the story、mm-hmm. is white. So we have a white person killing a black person, and this is a very、um, Very powerful story, especially today, because this stuff is actually happening in many places in the world. So we will get more into that with the story. But first, let's begin by looking at what happens in day three of our article. Reading. Ghost boys. Jewel Parker Rhodes is known for her powerful stories about the U.S. today. Her 2018 book *Ghost Boys* shows her ability to make readers think about society's current problems. Jerome's death and afterlife aren't just tragic. The story represents very real tragedies that are happening throughout the world today. On November 22, 2014. Police officers shot and killed a black boy, Tamir Rice. Like Jerome, Tamir was only 12 years old, and he was playing with a toy gun. Tamir's shooter was found innocent. Through her story, Rhodes shows how the killing of black people without punishment is a continuing problem in the U.S. Emmett Till, for example, was a real person. And victim of a terrible murder in Mississippi. By introducing Jerome and Emmett in the book, Rhodes shows that racism and its awful consequences have not disappeared from U.S. culture. This year, there have been even more murders of black people in the U.S. by police officers. That raises a serious question: When will Ghost Boys be just a story? Okay, so our article begins. Jewel Parker Rhodes is known for her powerful stories about the U.S. today, right? So Jewel pa- Parker Rhodes, she is the author, the person who has written the book. 那这边我们讲到了 be known for 这个片语呢，指的是某一个人或者是某一个地方以一个特别的事情著名。嗯哼 ，exactly. And she writes powerful stories. Now, powerful is an adjective, and powerful things have a lot of meaning. They can cause a lot of emotion. They can make us learn important lessons, and they are difficult to ignore. What the sentence is saying is that Jewel Parker Rhodes writes stories with important messages in them that bring us a lot of emotions, because this is clearly an emotional book. There is lot. There are lots of words we can use if we want to say something isn't powerful. Though we could say that a story is meaningless, and that says that there is nothing important to take away from it. Or we could say that it is bland, meaning weak or dull. Here's an example of how we can use the word powerful. Claire cried as she watched the powerful movie about World War Two. 那 powerful 在这边是力量 power 的形容词。那这边呢，指的是它很有影响力的，就是这些他写的故事啊，是很有影响力的。那 powerful 同时呢，还有很强壮或者是效果很大的意思。Mm-hmm. 
，它的相反呢，可以说是 powerless， 没有力量的。And the article says her 2018 book Ghost Boys shows her ability to make the re- make readers think about society's current problems. Hmm. Yeah, that's very important because this deals with a very important problem in daily in our current society. But what does current mean? Let's pause right here and take a closer look. Okay, so we can use current to talk about things that are happening or are right now. So if I introduce you to my current girlfriend, I'm showing you the girl that I am currently dating. That would be different from showing you my former girlfriend or my ex-girlfriend, because these would be women that I have broken up with. If I show introduced you to my future girlfriend, then that would be even weirder because we wouldn't have even started dating yet. Let's look at an example. The new president promised he would fix the country's current problems. Current 在这边是形容词，它有现在的或者是当前的意思，像是 like the word present。那它还有另外一个意思呢，是名词，水流、气流或者是电流。For example, it is harder to swim against the current.、Mm-hmm, exactly. And the and the article says Jerome's death and afterlife aren't just tragic. Right. Afterlife there is an important word. It's it basically means the time in some religions and faiths that happens after you die. So afterlife there is a noun. In Buddhism, we don't really have afterlife so much, do we? We have something different called reincarnation, which is it's a difficult word. It means when you come back to life again after you die. In an afterlife, you don't、like、come you, back. You, you die and you go to somewhere.、Else. You go somewhere else, like heaven, for、mm. example. If you go to heaven,、oh, then you're in the or hell. Yeah, that's also an afterlife. So either way, this is still tragic because they were very, very young. Now, tragic is an adjective, and we use the word tragic to talk about things that are really, really sad. A tragedy—that's a noun—is the story of something very, very sad. So we could also say that Ghost Boys is in fact a tragedy, or at least it starts that way.、Hmm. And the article says the story represents. Very real tragedies that are happening throughout the world today.、Mm-hmm. 那这个故事呢，就代表了现今世界上很多真实的悲剧事件。Exactly. So the、uh, article now gives us some examples of real cases that happened、um, quite recently. On November twenty second, two thousand and fourteen, police officers shot and killed a black boy, Tamir Rice. Like Jerome, Tamir was only 12 years old, and he was playing with a toy gun. Tamir's shooter was found. Oh, Tamir's shooter was found innocent. Right. Okay. So there's a lack of justice. There's no justice there. Now this is especially this is sad for many many reasons, and one of them is that Tamir Rice was innocent. He wasn't doing anything wrong. Uh, innocent is an adjective that means、uh, that we use to describe someone who has committed no crime and is a good person. Jerome was not a dangerous boy in the story, and similarly, Tamir Rice wasn't using a gun. He wasn't playing with a real gun, and he wasn't threatening anybody. He was innocent of those accusations or innocent of any crime, and that makes his death and Jerome's death both much sadder. If Jerome had killed someone with a gun, if he had had a real gun and he had killed someone, then he wouldn't be innocent. He、He'd、would be, be guilty. guilty. Exactly. So we have innocent and guilty. We could also say he was guilty of murder if he killed someone. Someone who is guilty hasn't done something bad. Sorry, has done something bad. And I could also say、uh, that they're probably going to go to prison as、mm. well. Let's look at an example using innocent. Everyone was angry when the, an innocent man was put in jail for the death of the old lady. 那在这边 ，innocent 是形容词，指的是无罪的或者是清白的。就是这个射杀 Tamir 的凶手呢，最后是被判无罪。Mm-hmm. 那 the opposite of innocent will be guilty.、Mm-hmm. 那 innocent 呢，还有另外一个意思，我们可以拿来形容小朋友、小孩。意思是他们很天真无邪。嗯哼 ，Yes, right. We can use innocent in that way as well. 
Now, the article continues. Through her story, Rhodes shows how the killing of black people without punishment is a continuing problem in the U.S. Okay, so our next word here is punishment, which is a noun. And a punishment is something that happens to you because you have done something bad. It's a deliberate action that your teacher, your parents, or even a judge could give you to make you think about the bad things you've done. In the past, it was common for people to be given death sentences as a serious punishment. A death sentence is a punishment where the guilty person is killed for what they did. Most punishments don't involve such drastic measures, though. Your teacher might punish you, that's the verb form of punishment, by giving you extra homework, or your parents could do something like our example sentence. Molly's mum wouldn't take her to the zoo as a punishment for Molly being so rude to her. Punishment is a noun, punishment, or punishment. And other words and punishment are like fine, 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 or sentence, a punishment given by the judge, a judge, a judge, or 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 a judge, Through 是呃为介系词，用来表示透过怎么样的一个方法。也就是说 ，Rons 呃，他在经过他的书来显现出一个什么东西。How the killing of black people without punishment is conti is a continuing problem。在这边呢 ，how 后面呢会引呃引导一个名词子句，特别是呃特别要注意的呢，在这个结构会将 be 动词。放回主词后面。Mm -hmm. Now the article says Emmett Till, for example,、uh, was a real person and victim of terrible of a terrible murder in Mississippi.、Mm -hmm. Right, he was actually. This is a very serious case.、Mm. Um, so Emmett Till, he was actually murdered、um, when he was visiting、um, Mississippi with his family. And there's different stories. Some people say he appeared to insult a white lady,、mm -hmm. but it's actually believed that he might have had nothing to do with that at all, and it had just been a lot of、um, somebody who had very racist views wanted to hurt him and used this as an excuse. And his murder was so terrible that it was one of the important, most important factors in bringing about、um, the civil rights movement. Um, because people saw just how terrible、um, black people were being treated. treated. Sadly,、um, this hasn't changed so much. I mean, it's changed, but it has not completely been resolved. The article goes on by introducing Jerome and Emmett in the book. Rhodes shows that racism and its awful consequences have not disappeared from U.S. culture. Okay, so we have that word introduce as well. Now, introduce is a verb, and when we introduce a character or a person, we let everybody know who that person or character is. Because we read the book, we know who Jerome is. Therefore, the book introduced us to Jerome. Introducing someone is a little bit different from giving an introduction. When you give an introduction, you let people know for the first time about a new topic. So, if you ever write essays in school, you will write a short introduction at the beginning to begin your essay. Here's an example of how we can use introduce now. James didn't introduce Alice to everybody because he forgot what her name was. Introduce is 动词介绍我们可能常常会需要 introduce ourselves to a self introduction 自我介绍。那同时还看到了这个 racism 这个字 ，race 本身是种族的意思。那 racism 就是种族歧视，一种 discrimination。例句说 ，James 并没有介绍 Alice 给大家认识，因为他忘记他的名字了。嗯哼 ，We also saw the word awful as well. When something awful happens, something really, really bad happens. Awful is the kind of word that ruins your day. Awful weather is things like a typhoon or very, very cold wind, while an awful grade is the lowest grade you can get. We could also describe it as a terrible grade. Terrible also means very, very bad. If we call something dreadful, meanwhile, we mean that it is so bad that it fills us with a sense of fear. 
It might even make us feel sick. Here's an example of how awful can make things very difficult for someone. Nathan never forgave Sarah for the awful things she said to him. Awful is a 形容词，糟糕的。Something that is extremely bad is horrible. 那 awful 还有另外一个字呢，是另外一个意思，是极大的，很多的 ，very 的意思。For example, that baby over there is awful cute. Mm, exactly. It can actually mean the opposite, kind of <laughs> be very bad or super cute. Yeah.、Um, we also have the word consequence now. Now, so a consequence that's a noun is kind of like the result of something, but a consequence is often a bad thing. So, a you could give a talk to someone about the consequences of drink driving. Drink driving is when you drive a car after drinking alcohol. So, what kind of results do you think you get from that? Ah,、uh, you get DUI. Exactly. You, they're not good things. You're going to get in trouble.、Mm -hmm. You could hurt someone. You could hurt yourself. You could damage property. These are all bad things. So we call them Consequence. consequences. The consequences of your actions. And then the article says this year they have there have been even more murders of black people in the U.S. by police officers.、Mm -hmm. And the article continues by asking a very good question. That raises a serious question: When will ghost boys be just a story? So, when we raise a question, we ask a question. So, what we're saying is, Parker Rhodes's book is asking that question in some ways. It, when will we get to a place, and how can we get to a place where black people are not more likely to get shot, more likely to get arrested, treated more,、uh, worse by、uh, police officers? When is that going to happen? Is it going to happen? When we ask big questions like this, we're encouraging us to think of solutions and ways that we can create a better society. Okay, well that is all the time we have for today's、uh, for our third day of our story article. Let's go to our for you chat now and ask one more question before we finish this unit. Okay, so today's for you chat question is going to get us to think a little bit about racism in our own worlds. So racism is a problem in all countries. What examples of racism in Taiwan can you think of? Hmm, I、uh, I don't think I've ever seen any racism for like in my by my、mm -hmm. own eyes.、Mm -hmm. But I、uh, I've heard some stories about black people like. They, when they want to teach at the cram、mm. school, they would say no to black people because、mm. they think maybe they have a African American accent, or maybe they will scare away the kids. Okay. So、mm -hmm. they are not like they don't have that much、mm, opportunities as、mm -hmm. white people. Yeah. So、okay. th this is a very good example of racism because you're taking the way that、uh, a group of people look or the way that they speak, and you're making. You're saying that you all act like this, and、mm -hmm. therefore you're better or worse. In this case, obviously, they're being treated as worse. So that's true. But racism is also not just something that Black people experience.、Mm. Um, I think Asian people.、Uh, yes, Asian people experience it. Southeast Asian、mm -hmm. people in Taiwan often experience racism. I know that sometimes there's they're not treated necessarily very fairly.、Mm -hmm. um, By the police, and there's some rules which are not always so fair, or views of Southeast Asians that aren't always very fair. So maybe you guys have some examples of that. Have you seen anything where someone from Southeast Asia has been treated poorly, or anybody from any groups?、Um, you guys can talk about that now, and we will rejoin you for another interesting article soon.、Um, so that's all we have time for, really. Yes. Unfortunately, that's all that we have time to talk about this issue today. So we'll see you again soon. Bye bye now. Bye. bye bye. Ghost boys. Jewel Parker Rhodes is known for her powerful stories about the U.S. today. Her 2018 book Ghost Boys shows her ability to make readers think about society's current problems. Jerome's death and afterlife aren't just tragic. The story represents very real tragedies that are happening throughout the world today. 
On November 22, 2014. Police officers shot and killed a black boy, Tamir Rice. Like Jerome, Tamir was only 12 years old, and he was playing with a toy gun. Tamir's shooter was found innocent. Through her story, Rhodes shows how the killing of black people without punishment is a continuing problem in the U.S. Emmett Till, for example, was a real person. And victim of a terrible murder in Mississippi. By introducing Jerome and Emmett in the book, Rhodes shows that racism and its awful consequences have not disappeared from U.S. culture. This year, there have been even more murders of black people in the U.S. by police officers. That raises a serious question: When will Ghost Boys be just a story? Vocabulary review. Powerful. The speaker gave a powerful speech that made the students really think about how society works. Current. Natasha is unhappy with her current apartment, and she is planning to move next month. Innocent. The innocent man was sent to prison for a crime he didn't do. Punishment. Polly had to do extra homework as punishment for playing with her phone in class. Introduce. The teacher introduced a new story at the beginning of English class, and we all read it together. Awful. There is an awful smell in the kitchen, because we didn't take out the trash last night. 智慧小补帖 Afterlife. Tragic. Racism. Consequence. Triple W.English.Cu.Net.